I've been working on my new Moxon antenna and this thing is super light, compact, and it packs a pretty good RF punch. Victor Echo 6 Sierra Foxtrot X-Ray, is anybody copy? Yes! I'm always pushing the envelope on what materials you can use for an antenna and this is no exception. We've got window screen, Faraday tape, some sewing, fiberglass rods, and a 3D print. To build it, I've designed it up in on shape and then we have built one prototype. I start by laying out and cutting the Faraday fabric on top of the screen and then we cut the screen down so that we have everything that we need to sew up. Then we reinforce all the edges with reinforcing tape. It's because you're recording me, I'm under stress. You still stressed out? I did the corner good. I did good. Fiberglass rods get cut to length. The handle gets glued on and heat shrunk for a solid grip. So I cut a piece of heat shrink. I file a small notch in each one so they lock into the 3D printed hub. And now you can see that it slots into that hole and now we have, we can twist without it spinning around. This packs up into a two by two by 16 inch package and it weighs about six ounces. Gotta like it. Putting it together is pretty straightforward. You start by sliding the four fiberglass rods in the stone pockets on the antenna. Once that's done, take each of the rods and place it into the 3D printed hub. So this needs to be pointing towards the BNC. When you get to the last one, you'll need to bend it slightly to tension everything. It'll flex and then snap right into place. Here's a heads up. Don't put the fiberglass into the 3D printed piece first and then into the fabric because the 3D print is more likely to break in that circumstance. The handle comes through here. You've got that little rectangle piece that it pops through. This is where you're going to hook up the coaxial cable, feed it along the handle, use the Velcro to strap the coaxial cable to here. If you want to put it way high above your head. There's a second hole you can hit and do this and be able to get it up higher. If you buy two, you've got your own TIE fighter. Pew, 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 pew. Hey, Victor Echo 6, your Fox Start X-ray. Is anybody copy? Hey, 6AY, you're coming in okay. <laughs> Are you the, the person that has uh, YouTube there also on the uh, Saturday uh, antennas? Yeah, we also have a uh, YouTube, uh, simply off-grid life. It's uh, all one word. And we have a combination of different stuff there, and uh, radios and even some of the antennas. Happy <laughs> dance. Before I went out, I went on to Radio Mobile Online and I mapped out the LAN profiles and my best chances at getting at what repeaters. You can see how to do this in one of my previous videos, and you'll see a link down below for it. For field testing, I went to Top Hill here in Calgary. It is a great clear view and a long shot for a lot of different repeaters in our area. Setting it up only took a couple of minutes and the local repeaters were absolutely no problem at all. Full quieting, but no surprise. I can do that with a rubber ducky. Then I tried a repeater that's 68 kilometers away. Victor Echo 6 here, Foxtrot X-Ray. Trying the Victor Echo 6 Hotel Romeo Lima repeater. Am I getting in? <laughs> With Greg on the repeater, I did a 360 degree test to find out the front, the back, or at least get a, a listen for it. There's no real numbers here, but there is definitely some good directionality on this Moxon. I am at 180, I am at 180, coming around. Did you notice any difference during that transmission? Yes, pointing at the repeater worked. Pointing everywhere else, you faded out. Of course, we have to do a test with just the rubber ducky to find out if it will hit the repeater. And Victor Echo 6 here, Fox Strut X ray, trying to hit the long view repeater from Calgary on rubber ducky. Can anybody copy? I've also pushed it out to 90 kilometers and I hit the Wimborne repeater. At five watts is Absolutely freaking amazing. I love this antenna. This is the Wimborne repeater and it is pretty much 90, 100 kilometers from me. Victor Echo 6 Sierra Foxtrot X-Ray. Is anybody copying? Yes! No worries, I'm uh, not sure exactly where your, uh, what your GPS is, but uh, mine is 
Josh here. You're live in Sparrow Land. Victor Echo 6, Bravo Mike Lima. This is Victor Echo 6 here at Fox Rod X ray, and I will be clear on your final seven threes, and you have yourself a great day. <laughs> so you must be on the uh, wind barn repeater then. Are you seeing this? It's on the ground. And I'm picking them up. The orientation's wrong. It's a long distance. It's sitting on the ground. Let's try the Wimborn repeater just on the rubber ducky. Victor Echo 6 here, Fox Trot X ray doing a quick radio check. Yeah, nothing. To establish its full range, we got to make sure that we're testing everything. So I tried a couple that are a little further out, about 120, 130 kilometers out. And that would be Clara's home and Red Deer. Victor Echo 6 here, Foxtrot X-Ray. Uh, can I hit the Clara's home repeater? No, definitely not. Victor Echo 6 here, Foxtrot X-Ray, trying to hit the Red Deer repeater. Can anybody copy? Negative. You'll also notice from Radio Mobile Online that the line is either red or it is yellow, and that pretty much tells you that you can or can't hit that repeater. So it all makes sense. This performs just as good as my Yagi, but obviously much smaller. Um, it's not as windy as the day I did the original test because, well, it's not blowing around, but this doesn't blow around as much because the netting makes a huge difference. The thing about this, 100 kilometers range on five watts, weighs six ounces, and it would probably get lost in your go bag. Win-win. I've got a limited stock that I am going to put out as my first run. There will be a link down below in the description if you want to grab one. I am looking into doing plans and also kits. Let me know in the comments down below if this would interest you. Even better yet is to sign up to my list, which is also on a link down below, and you'll be the first to know if I go ahead and make these. Once these units are gone, it might be a little bit until I get a chance to do another run. Make sure you subscribe, tag me, hit the bell button, send this to friends and all that other kind of stuff. This is Victor Arco 6 here at Foxtrot X-Ray, and I'm clearing this channel. Pew, pew.